Bryce Vine, Carnival. Debut album. The synopsis, riding the success wave of his smash single, La La Land, featuring Bop. YG Bryce Vine, has more in store. The crooner announced on Wednesday, June 5th, his major label debut album, Carnival, is set for release on July 28th Same. via Sire Records. Oh, is that a typo? Carnival will include La La Land and the platinum certified Drew Barrymore, which is also a bop, as well as six more new songs. Trash album. I'm sorry. This album, I was really looking forward to this album. I thought it was going to be a great album. I was thoroughly let down. Yeah. I mean, it's smart putting two of your biggest songs that you're ever going to have probably. Rusted it. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be his biggest songs, but it's, yeah. It's, it still some is of his the biggest, biggest song, though. I think Losing Control is still, yeah. But, I mean, I did, like, the more. The first minute of each song, I was like, this is awful. Yeah. And it kind of slowly grew on me. So, so the beginning was definitely trash. Oh, yeah. The last second of last song was like... Oh, the first song you didn't like? Mm-mm. I didn't mind it. No? No. <laughs> like I said, the first like the first minute of every song was like, oh, God, why am I listening to this? But then it kind of grew on me. So I'm thinking maybe the album will grow on me. I might listen to it again since it's only That's like, what I thought also. Like, there's like eight songs on it. Nine songs or something like that. I was gonna I was gonna re listen to it before bed, but I was like, hmm, no, I feel like I'm it. gonna fall asleep to yeah. it. Yeah. So like I said, it might grow on you. It might grow on me. Probably one of those albums. You grow on me for sure. Oh. No. So top three. Top three. <laughs> I put the first song, Classic and Perfect, at number three. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't like it. But oh I'm not What's mad your at three, you. Then? Love me, hate me. You probably don't remember. Yeah, exactly. Song. See that? That's the thing with the album. Like, you, the songs have to stick out, and they don't. That's, and then, I didn't want to do this, but like you, you said, had I no could, choice. I had no other choice. So Drew Barrymore's number two, and then La La Land's number one. Mine's flipped. La La Land, and then Drew Barrymore. I just, yeah, I want. I didn't want to do it because like La La Land came out. Well, both of them came out last year. Like, literally, I think a year ago. So I was like. I don't want to do it. Then listening through, I was like, nope. Have to do it. Nope. Like, there's no nope. other, there's not two other good songs on this yeah, album. So, I gave it a 6.5 just because I think it might grow on me. I was going to give it a five and a half. What the hell did you just swing at? You got a I ghost in gonna, here? I was going to give it a 5.5, but I said, this might grow on me. Six. Yeah, so that's what I did. I was going to give it a six. Said it might grow on me. 6.5. You're a little generous there, huh? Well, La La Land and Drew Barrymore, they're. Absolute bop. They carry the album. The weight of Sorry the album yelling. on the shoulder. Like, ah! Good thing it's a ah! small album, huh? Just like that. Did you just come? Yeah. All right.